In a previous video, I showed how to install DeepCam uh, and use it uh, on the ESOL dataset. So uh, what I want to do in this video here is to show how we can use our own datasets uh, rather than the ones built in to DeepCam. And so the way I want to do that is, is, is try to um, reproduce uh, the results I get in this, uh, the results I got here with the Delaney data set uh, built into DeepCam, and I want to sort of com compare it to reading the CSV file uh, from scratch so that we can use it uh, with other CSV files if we want. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this. And then I'm going to run it. OK, and we're done. So let's go down and look. Uh, OK, so we're going to try to, well, to, to know if we've done things correctly, we want to we wanna try to reproduce uh, these numbers. But of course, we have to be aware that these numbers will change a little bit every time we run it because we start with different weights uh, and things like that. So let's, let's just run this a few times to see what kind of range uh, of R2 scores we can expect. Uh, so right now for the training score, it's 0.94. Let's try to run it again. Okay, then we get 0.97. Let's try it again. 0.98. Okay, so it's going to be 0.9 something if we do everything correctly. Okay, what is it really we want to do? Well, we want to go up here and we want to replace this code right here uh, with, with some code of our own that, that gives us the training the validation and, and test set. Okay, so this is all done uh, by a subroutine called load Delaney, as we can see here. So let's try to see what this actually does. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to Google uh, DeepCam, and then load Delaney. And I'm going to look at the first hit and search for load Delaney. So that's here, and I'm going to go over here where it says source. So this is the actual source code. So this is what it's doing. Okay, so there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of lines here, but let's not get intimidated by that and just, and just sort of see what we look for familiar things. So for example, the first thing is that it's, uh, this is the CSV file uh, that, it's, that it's using. So we want to, we want to get that. So let's, let's grab that. So we're working with the same thing. And I'm going to make a new cell here and download the file. OK, so now we have the file. Uh, let's see what else. So. If we go down here and look, we have something called CSV loader. Uh, so that's that's obviously the 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 subroutine that reads uh, the CSV file. Uh, let's see, and this this will need some things. So what we have to tell it is uh, the tasks. Uh, this smiles field, that's okay, and we need to tell it what feature visor to use. Uh, and so to reproduce what we had before, that's going to be graph convolution. We have to give it the data file that we just downloaded. Uh, okay, and then there are some transformers here that we have to do. And then uh, this is uh, different splitters for splitting it into the training set, validation, and test set. And yeah, so that's that's finally what we want here. So let's uh, let's see. Let's grab some code. Uh, 
So I'm going to grab all of this, copy it, and I think I'm going to make a, a separate cell for all this stuff. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is move everything in or out, I guess I should say. So I'm using the Shift Tab key. And let's see. So I, here I defined the task. So that's basically the column with the Y data. So we recognized this from previous videos on the ESOL data set. Then there is something called if reload, but we don't really, we're not really reloading something. So we can get rid of that. Okay, so the next thing is to pick the featureizer. Uh, and in the old code, we used uh, graph convolution. Uh, did that go here? So if graph convolution, if featureizer is equal to graph convolution, uh, then this line here. Uh, this line here gets run, so we need this line. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we can move that up with the other stuff. And let's see what else. So we have defined Delaney tasks. Uh, we tell it to look in the smiles column. Uh, we've defined what the featureizer is. Uh, okay, now it wants the data set file, and so that's the one we just downloaded here. So let's copy that. Uh, oh, and I need this in quotation marks, like that. Okay. Uh, this chart size, I have no idea what it is, but let's just leave it. Um, the transformers, let's leave that. Uh, let's see, it wants here a data set, but the data set that's defined here, so that's fine. Um, then Yes, this, okay, so this just uses the transformer we've defined. Uh, then there is the splitter. Uh, and so we have to, we have to pick one of these. Uh, let's see in what's the, if there's a default in the code. Uh, okay, it splits by index. Uh, so that's what we want to do. So my splitter here is the index splitter. So I can move that down here and I can get rid of this stuff. Um, okay, so now I have, yes, so now I, it, it does the splittering and I get my training, uh, validation and test set. Okay, now I have to realize that uh, Yes, I call it something different here. So I call it train data set. So I should probably rename that. So data set, data set, and data set. Okay, let's uh, let's try to run this and see what happens. Uh, deep cam is not defined. Oh, that is because I, when I import, I import deep cam as DC. Okay, so I have to change that here and here. Uh, let's see, was that it? Uh, here and here. Okay, that should do it. Let's try to run it again.
Okay, so that's doing some things. And now I no longer need this stuff. So I can comment this out. And let's, yeah, let's run this again. To define the model, that works. And now let's uh, fit, let's train our model again. Okay, and I get 0.95. So that's exactly in the range I expected. Super. So that means now that we, in principle, can use um, DeepChem with, with any uh, CSV data file that we want, because we now know how to, how to read it in and apply the, the various settings.